couch. Both of y'all have so much swag. T.I., you're from Atlanta. You're from the dirty, dirty, you got your swag. Joseph, you're from the shy, you're from Chicago. Like, where did all this swag come from? My daddy. Your daddy? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I think, you know, I was uh, just, you know, groomed to be a gentleman. All right, okay, I like that. That's the swag answer. What about you, Joseph? Uh, Tommy's got a lot of swag. I, I have less swag. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying like kind of, you're not nerdy, are you like kind of geek? I'm or? a little nerdy, I'm a little, yeah, yeah I'm a little nerdy. I like, uh, I, I love history and documentaries. I love to read. Okay, that's sexy as heck. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's sexy. <laughs> Joseph could have said, I make clothes for mice and I'd have been like, Ooh. that's so sexy. <laughs> I love it. Like, okay, so Joseph, we love you as Tommy in power. Like, this. I'm telling you. Because look, Tommy. Okay, I gotta get through this. Tommy crazy as hell. Tommy was in love with his woman. Then the woman disappeared. They was hot and heavy. Tommy would go in and just get and smoke you in a minute. Yeah. But it's so funny you playing this character, but you grew up as a theater kid. Yeah, yeah, I started in the theater when I was 10 years old. I auditioned at the Goodman for, uh, you know, Christmas Carol was uh, every yes. season. Um, couldn't really sing. So I got to play out, way out in the suburbs at, uh, in uh, Lake Forest, which is, as you know, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's quite a bit outside the city. So we had to, uh, it was a long a drive. drive. I mean, as a little kid, it's like a 45 minute drive seems like it takes half your day. Yeah. Um, but, the, oh, look at the picture. <laughs> that's, that's, that's right a, there. That, that was a Goodman Theater. That was the last, uh, the last show in the old space. It was Zoot Suit, it was a 25 year anniversary of Zoot Suit with my great friend Eric Aviles from uh, Humboldt. Park, um, who may or may not be appearing in Power Book 4 Force in the second season. Ooh, love it. Um, but yeah, so the theater was an excellent training ground. You know, Chicago theater, you can just go from one thing to, to another thing. When people say, are you scared of getting stereotyped as Tommy? I was like, well, I had the luxury of, you know, doing 50 uh, professional, professional theater, per, theater. Uh, yes. productions. So you yeah. play a lot of different characters. So I got really lucky. And we can see it. And NTI. We love you as a rapper. I mean, we can just remember all of your songs. <laughs> Everything that you released. Thank you. Now, first of all, I can't believe this. You're releasing a final album yeah. soon? Yeah. What? Yeah. Is, what? Okay. <laughs> Why are you smiling? We're not happy about I mean, this. <laughs> I mean, because it's just the perfect way to uh, move on to the next phase of life, you know what I mean? To kind of bookend the chapter and uh, begin new endeavors. Okay, and so I, I can get with that aspect because it's, it's an evolution, right. and you're evolving, and I loved it because you are now into stand up. You're doing it, which yeah. is I think it's very courageous because stand up is not for the weak. Right. So you're in stand up. So what yeah. made you say I want to I want to do stand up comedy? Well, I mean, quite honestly, I had no say in the matter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> man, I, I, I've always had a, a, an enormous respect for the craft, and I have a lot of friends who are comedians. One of my, my, my partners named K-Dub, he was hosting an a open mic night. I went there, and there was a guy on stage, and he was having a horrible go of it. And, um, and, and K-Dub and I could agree he was having a bad time, but couldn't agree why, so we arguing at the bar. K-Dub look at me and say, well, I've been in this 20-some years, and you know so much, when you gonna get on stage? I was like, whoa, whoa, chill out, man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and so he go up there, and he grabs the mic, and he says, coming up on stage next, whether he knows it or not. <laughs> Tip T.I. Harris, and I'm like, oh, bro, are you serious? And that was, man, that was like 50, 55 weeks, 54 weeks ago. Oh my god. January gosh. the 12th, and I got hooked. I got my first laugh, I got hooked. I've been doing it ever since. It is, it is addictive. Yeah. It is very addictive, I gotta give you that. Yeah. And I know, Joseph, it, people, like, we are addicted to ghosts, we're addicted to Tommy and all of the, sh you know, your shows, but have you had any crazy encounters with, like, fans? You know, I think one of the crazier encounters was season three of The Power Show. You remember when uh, uh, Tommy kills the Holly character, played by Lucy Walters? Yes. Uh, the way, you know, chokes her, kills her and the unborn child, and I was walking down in the fi financial district by my favorite frozen margarita place. <laughs> and uh, I had a lady say to me, listen, she's like, Tommy, I don't want a picture. I don't want uh, uh, an autograph. I just want you to choke me. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I did not oblige. I did not oblige. <laughs> How do you turn a fan down when they ask you that? I told her I didn't bring my choking hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I, and I told the audience I was gonna ask you this question. We all saw it when you and Lala had your scene, your, when you mm. made love for the first time, you put her up on that counter. Yep. What, what did you have to go through to get to just be who you had to be in that scene? Not much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> respect to uh, Lala is obviously a gorgeous we person inside and out. Um, uh, it was, but she is very choreographed. I mean, that the, it's unfortunately not to uh, break anybody's dreams here, but those those scenes, sex scenes, and Tip can talk to this too. Is that sex scenes are a lot more sterile than um, than they come across? Hopefully, than they come across. I, no, it was I, not I, sterile. I really, I really did. No, you never uh, did nah, I ain't really did. You know, I did a little kissing. I did a little uh, kissing here and there, but I ain't never went full like. Well, uh, that, this, this one that Tommy does, nothing looks sterile about it. If you have, any, it if you to have me. any questions, I know. <laughs> I, uh... Well, you may not have had it. You may not have had it on the screen, but the relationship that you have with your wife—that was a horrible segue. I mean, I'm about was... to say, what are you saying, Sherry? <laughs> I'm not, that was such a terrible segue. You got a relationship. I love it with Tiny, your yes, wife, yes. and your children. Yes. I I love the way you love. That's my. All the kids. That's my little gang right there. So do any of them, they want to be, like, in the business? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. And there's nothing, I, I, I mean, I tried as hard as I could to push all of them outside of the music business just because of all the treachery and, right. you know, just all of the, 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 the betrayal I know that come with it. But they all kind of, well, most of them are just kind of fluctuating. You know, my oldest daughter, uh, her name's Anique, she's... Uh, she started the OMG Girls, mm -hmm. her and my wife, uh, a while ago. Uh, Damani, he's also rapping. King's rapping. Uh, my other, my youngest daughter, uh, uh, Aris, you can't stop her from singing. Yeah. You know, she, she, she's not scared of anything. She'll come out here and sing a song right now, you know? Do you uh, think it's in the DNA? Yeah. I mean, potentially, you know, I don't know where they get it from. I guess, I mean, <laughs> it's definitely in the A. Yeah, yeah. I think it, absolutely. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Now, Joseph, I want to go back to you. You got, you know, besides doing everything you do, you have, uh, they told me you have another dream role. Oh, yeah. I always want to play James Bond. James Ooh. Bond. Yeah. James Bond. Yeah. Like, do you have that James, do you have that James Bond look, that, that whole... I mean, I am from the theater, darling. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I always love spy stuff, and um, I love that world. I was like, man, boy, I always love to play James Bond. Yeah, so that'd, that'd be my dream role, sure. Because I was wondering, they told me you wanted to play James Bond, and I said, what would Tommy look like as James Bond? Now, this, I, this is what I got. Hey! Like, and then, you know, James Bond is always, he's shirtless. This is Daniel Craig coming through the water see. shirtless. So yeah. I was trying to picture what would what would Joseph Sikora look like? I kind of it kind of it kind of looks like Pierce Brosnan and Kate Blanchett had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think this one looks good. I would love to see you and Bond playing James Bond. Be great. We have to manifest that, y'all. We gotta keep saying that. Now, T.I., I remember watching this movie. I remember watching ATL mm. when I was younger. It was 20 years ago. <laughs> this was the movie. And you know fans want an ATL, too. Yeah. Is there, are there any talks of you guys reuniting? Uh, yes, yes, there, are, there have been. Oh, yeah. There have been discussions. Um, you know, we went so far as to, you know, all, all kind of go to the, approach the studio and... Uh, we got a green light from from Warner Brothers. We were developing a script, and you know, tragedy struck Lauren London's yes. home, and um, you know, she just you know, kind of evolving into a headspace where she can reapproach the the character of Nunu again. But as soon as that, but soon as soon as um, as soon as we reach that evolution, every the whole cast is ready to go. Okay, I can't wait. Yeah, me too. That was the movie.